Assalamu alaikum Dear students, hope you are well I am Soso I am Muhammad Samad Khan Lecturer, Department of Accounting, Dhaka College, Dhaka Okay Today, the topic is Contribution of Financial Leverage and Capital Structure uh, From third year The uh, course name is Corporate Finance and Financial Management Okay Last class, we already known that uh, what is financial leverage and what is leverage. Okay, you oh, know financial leverage. Okay, dear students, see financial leverage. is assumed to contribute to the enhancement of return on equity which is called ROE okay financial leverage is assumed to contribute to the enhancement of return on equity and Magnification of earning per share. Magnification or magnify or increasing the earning per share. And if so, it is favorable otherwise it is unfavorable okay dear students we already seen here that financial reward is assumed to contribute to the enhancement of return on equity re and magnification of in earning per share and if so it is favorable otherwise it is unfavorable i want to say here that financial leverage is favorable whenever uh, whenever the return on equity or earning per share is increased or positive then it is favorable if when it is negative then it is unfavorable Okay, dear students, we know financial leverage is debt or bond, okay, that has cost. Financial leverage is debt or bond that is cost okay interest of bond or debt is the cost of financial leverage okay so you know interest of bond or debt is the cost of financial leverage okay we know that interest cost we also know that interest cost is tax 
deductible expense. We know that interest cost is the tax deductible expense. Okay, here that usually that actually less costly. We already learned that usually less costly and it is likely or associated with fixed charge fixed charge or fixed coupon rate okay fixed charge or fixed coupon rate okay tax authority accept the interest cost tax authority accept it or accept the interest cost as the charge against profit charge against profit okay it is a uh, tax authority charge the interest uh, cost against the profit okay so i want to say that uh, interest cost interest cost actually uh, cheaper or interest or cheapest sometimes cheapest is the source is the source easiest source for a corporation easiest source for a corporation okay please see cheaper or sometimes cheapest okay it is it is cheaper sometimes cheapest okay so uh, uh, we want to say that uh, contribution of financial leverage and capital structure here interest cost is cheaper or sometimes cheapest whenever interest cost is highest then actually uh, it is totally unfavorable on that time uh, that is no occur to contribute or or uh, the debt don't contribute to the capital structure okay so here uh, we know that interest charge is fixed charge interest charge is fixed charge so uh, so interest cost maybe make a risk make a financial risk make a financial risk to a firm okay so we say that sometimes although interest cost is fixed charge cost so that maybe it make a financial risk to a firm okay okay x y z the students here uh, write I, I write down that x y z limited plan to use business capital of taka 5 lakh with equity share capital of taka 3 lakh taka okay of taka 100 share 100 per share and debt capital of taka 2 lakh of 8 percent interest okay then tax rate is 50 percent accounts payable 1 lakh and then return on asset is 8 percent we should determine whether uh, the uh, financial leverage is uh, favorable or unfavorable 
Okay, dear students, uh, we prove that the condition is favorable or unfavorable. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> dear students, we know that we already learned or known that KD say KD equal interest into 1 minus tax rate. Okay. In the previous class, we already, we learned, in the previous class, we learned KD equal interest into 1 minus tax rate. Okay. Please. Here, uh, interest rate is 8%. Okay. So, 8% into 1 minus tax rate, uh, I mean 50%. Okay. Tax rate 50%. 50% I mean 0.5 so 8% into 1 minus 0.5 okay 8% into 1 minus 0.5 equal 4% so we try this in calculator 1 minus 0.5 into 8 equal 4 okay so 4% okay In this question, we see that or given that total asset equal total assets is six lakh. Okay. Interest KD two lakh sorry it is that two lakh and cost of that equal eight percent okay so and return on asset ROA equal eight percent okay so given that total asset six lakh that 2 lakh and KD 8% and ROA return on asset equal 8%. Okay. Here, return on asset equal say 8%. Okay. Return on asset 8% less return on debt return on debt eight percent okay less tax shield fifty percent okay tax shield equal fifty percent I mean four percent some times ago, I already uh, seen the here, okay, 4%, 8% deducted 4 equal 4%, so 8 to 4 equal 4%, okay, benefits, it is called benefits of that for equity holders okay benefits of debt of benefits of debt for equity holders okay so in this question we see that uh, we see that return on asset 8% then less return on debt 8% minus tax shield 50% equal 4% equal uh, here 4% 8% minus 4% equal 4% so in above the question we already seen that uh, the question the proposal is favorable the proposal is favorable to this firm 
to X Y Z Limited. Okay, okay. I think that if I use if I use say if I use eighteen percent instead of eight percent, okay, then what will be happen? We see that. So return on asset ROA equal eight percent and then less less return on debt return on debt 18 percent less tax shield at 50 percent so 9 percent okay deduction equal 9 percent 9 percent okay it is called 1 percent I mean, uh, I think it is, it is benefits of, of debts for equity holders. Okay, here in this above the question, we see that benefits of debts for equity holders negative 1%. So, it is not favorable to the firm it is unfavorable we uh, call that it is unfavorable to the xyz limited okay because of high interest rate because of high interest rate okay i think that uh, you already uh, learn and you already realize that what was what is happened in two question okay okay dear students i write down another question uh, xyz limited plan to use business capital of taka 20 lakh taka with equity share capital of taka 10 lakh which is uh, 100 taka per share that is taka 10 lakh taka of 6 percent interest rate and tax rate is 50 percent uh, accounts payable 5 lakh taka return on assets is 12 percent so determine whether the liver is favorable or non unfavorable okay we should bring out uh, the question is favorable to the firm to exaggerate limited or not okay first uh, we should uh, it is uh, uh, favorable we should bring out it is favorable or unfavorable okay return return on asset equal say or uh, return on asset 12 percent okay and then um, less less return on debt return on debt is six percent less tax shield at 50 percent 50 percent i mean 50 percent three percent okay three percent okay nine percent so benefits from debts or leverage for equity holders for equity holders okay equity holders in this question uh, above the question we see that the leverage is favorable to xyz limited okay because nine percent is positive okay so at present we uh, should bring out the uh, EPS with totally fully equity financed or partly equity financed then what will be the EPS for different two, uh, two system okay.
Okay, I think it is one format and it is another format. Okay, we see that total assets is I mean total assets here 20 lakh and here 5 lakh I think so total asset is 25 lakh okay total assets is 25 lakh return on asset is 12 percent return on asset equal 12 percent so we should bring out so return on asset equal 3 lakh 3 lakh it is earning for equity holders 3 lakh Okay, here total shares, total shares, if it is fully, if, uh, if it is fully equity financed, then it is here, total share is 20,000 share, okay, 20,000 share, okay, then EPS, so EPS is, 3 lakh divided 20,000 taka. So here 3 lakh 20,000 share. I mean EPS is 15 taka. Another when uh, when XYZ Limited if XYZ Limited finance partly equity financed and partly from debt or leverage then what will be happen or what will be the EPS okay please we say total asset we know total asset so I think return on asset 12% equal 3 lakh return on asset 3 lakh and that that is I think that is here 10 lakh into 60,000 taka that is 60,000 taka minus tax shield is 50% I mean 30,000 taka okay so 30,000 taka so here 2,70,000 2, taka okay it is uh, we, we say that it is earning for equity holders okay so EPS is EPS uh, is 2 lakh 70,000 taka sorry here number of share Ten thousand share because it is partly financed. We already said that it is partly financed. Okay, so EPS is two lakh seven thousand taka divided ten thousand share. Okay, so twenty seven taka. Okay, please, uh, dear students, in both category we already see that firstly firstly we see that the question is favorable to the levers but or liver is favorable to the question then one and two 
first one is fully financed equity financed first one is fully equity financed then the eps is 15 taka then second uh, secondly second one is here second one is 27 taka i mean here we see that partly i mean 10 lakh taka from equity financed and another 10 lakh from leverage financed or debt financed okay so if we use leverage or debt in a corporation then uh, or and and leverage and if so leverage is favorable then eps must be eps must be increased okay thank you thank you all of